The Jets travel to Foxborough on Thursday to face the hated New England Patriots. Patriots a 13-point favorite on bet deck, 43.5 the total in this game. And looking at this line, you have to wonder if the odds makers slept through last week's games when New England almost lost as a double-digit favorite for squeaking by the Buffalo Bills 23-21 and the Jets beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as an underdog. I just do not understand this number, especially considering what New England is dealing with on offense. I'm talking about the injury issues. I mean, this is not the 2007 Patriots. This isn't the 2012 Patriots. Randy Moss isn't walking through that door. Wes Welker is not walking through that door. Rob Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez. I mean, Aaron Dobson, Zach Sudfeld, Shane Vereen, some fringe weapons the Patriots will be without in this game. Now, what is Tom Brady going to be surrounded by exactly? Julian Edelman, a guy who mostly plays special teams when the Patriots have their full receiving core healthy. Kenbrell Tompkins, a rookie who was targeted 14 times last week and only caught five passes. You know, and the Jets... Say what you want about the Jets. They have a really good defense. Even last year when things fell apart, eighth in the NFL in total defense, second against the pass. Rex Ryan knows what he's doing, coaching defense. The Jets have good personnel on that side of the ball. They know this New England offense very well, playing them twice a year every year. And I don't think it's, exagger I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that this Patriots offense on Thursday night will be the most toothless, least explosive Patriots offense of the Belichick Brady era. I don't think you can find one single game where they've had less in terms of offensive weaponry than they're going to have Thursday night against the New York Jets. That alone makes a number like 13 a little out of hand in my opinion. Then you look at the other side of the ball, the Patriots not a good not a good defense, haven't been good on defense for a few years now. And even though I'm not going to sit here and say the Jets have a good offense, I do think they're going to be better this year than they were last season. Geno Smith, don't know if you saw him against Tampa Bay, threw for 256 yards, rushed for 47 more. Was he perfect? No, but for a rookie in his first start, didn't look too bad. Certainly looked better than what they got out of position last season. Kellen Winslow, the tight end who they picked up just before the season, led the team in both receptions and yards in their Week 1 victory, so he looks like he's going to be a, a valuable contributor to this offense the Jets have a little bit of momentum. Nobody was giving them a chance at home. They were underdogs to the Tampa Bay Bucks in week one. They pulled out a win. 13-point underdogs against a New England team that is just limping into this game. I think the Jets have a chance to keep this one really, really close and give the Patriots a scare. Jets plus 13, a great-looking bet. Might I remind you, the road team in this series has had great success over the last several years. The road team, 21-8-1 against the spread the last 30 New England New York Jets game so do what you want I recommend Jets plus 13